Hi, my name is Andy Boyle and welcome to The Primer. This is a video how-to series on the Forensic Technology product line and some tips and tricks on how I think you can best use them to get the most efficient use out of them. So in this video, I'm going to continue from where I left off previously. And we're currently looking at the pair of cartridge cases with depth grayscale and a copper composition. The thing is, we can toggle through these image overlay options here by actually right-clicking on the uh, primer thumbnails here. If I right-click here, I can get a preview of all those views with the actual live display of how that's going to appear here. So all in focus between these two, side light six o'clock shining upwards, that ring light image, uh, depth grayscale here, and then 3D as well. The thing is, if you choose 3D, which is the one I usually do choose, the default overlay that it gives you, sorry, the default composition it gives you is lead. And I showed you copper previously, and I like the way copper reacts underneath the light as I give it that wiggle. I did not like the way lead reacted. I would not use lead in the past because I didn't like the way the light reacted to the surface. But I've since learned that if I change that 100 value for 3D elevation up to about 160 or so, and to do that, what I just did was I clicked on that V and held the button down. If you click on the V, you now get a slider that can let you make adjustments here. So if we stop at around 160, now with the elevation a little bit more exaggerated with that lead surface, you will get a better reaction as you move that surface underneath the light. And once I got used to this, I actually do start to use lead a little bit more often. I kind of prefer copper still. That lead is not nearly as bad as I first thought when it's time to do these visual comparisons and whatnot. So that is something that I, I tend to use quite a bit. Now, that was the image choices for right-clicking on the primer. If I click on the firing pin with the right-click, I can see, once again, 3D, raw depth grayscale, and ring light for the firing pin impression. And the same goes for the ejector as well. I've got side light 6, side light 3, the 3D with the lead overlay and just the raw depth grayscale. I could go straight to any one of those. Lastly, there's full head stamp down at the bottom. This one has no other options other than just to click on this, that selection and see it with a 2D photograph like we see right now. And that just gives you the full view of the head stamp along with the primer on the inside of it. So those are some of the navigation options that you have right at your fingertips here. You can either go the long way. Let's go back to just selecting primer. You can go the long way like we previously only had the option to do and select the overlay you want, add the composition you want, and then play with the 3D elevation, or just right click and go straight to the view that you want to get to right away. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to the channel for future content, and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.